Hello, hi guys, how is everybody? Welcome to another Facebook Friday, Frilici Friday. Feels like I've been gone for so long. I don't know why I like taking that one, like just last Friday off is only one extra week, but it feels like I'm like way out of practice. On uh, Hi Ashley, how are you doing? Good morning, I'm glad you can join us. Yeah, so let's see what's going on. So Ashley, you're a basketball mom too. Oh my goodness, we were in Pittsburgh last weekend playing basketball. Um, I have never been to Pittsburgh before and I I love Pittsburgh now. Now that we went and it's really not a bad drive. Hi Susie, how are you doing this morning? Um, yeah, it's not a bad drive from here to Pittsburgh, maybe I don't know. Hi, Nikki. How are you? How are you? Oh my gosh. Yay, everybody's joining. Hi, Marianne. Oh, yay. It's so good to have everybody on. I was just talking about going to Pittsburgh last weekend, and I had no idea. I was like, yeah, I've never been to Pittsburgh. Let's go. You know, Kate's going to play basketball. We'll go check it out. And it's an awesome city. Like, I mean, I guess because I love like bridges and water and all that stuff. So there, I don't know, there's something called the Three Rivers Stadium, which, so that makes sense. There are three different rivers that come in or, you know, are, you know, a part of Pittsburgh, right? And then a million bridges and hills, like bridges everywhere and then water and then hills. And I just, I was like really impressed. I had no preconceived notions, I guess, of what Pittsburgh was like. Like, um, for me, it felt like in some ways kind of an older city, um, mainly because of like the highway system, because everything's really like kind of compact, I guess maybe because there are all these hills and rivers everywhere, there's only so much room to put like highways. So you're like twisting and curving and like, thank goodness for GPS. I don't know how, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't have survived going to Pittsburgh like back before GPS because I mean, literally it's the kind of thing where like you come around a curve and like, oh, you gotta be over in that lane to like take that road, which is kind of a highway that turns into, I don't know, it was kind of craziness, but we were all over the place too, which was high Philomena, which was really fun. We got to see so much of Pittsburgh too, because they play at the convention center which is right downtown on the water we actually stayed in a hotel maybe like 20 minutes outside of downtown Pittsburgh I guess I mean it really wasn't that far away um, but let's see oh Marianne's saying something I got to sorry I got to touch the screen and scroll back because I'm curious we used to live in northern West Virginia and it was about an hour and a half to Pittsburgh um, you went there pretty often yeah actually uh, speaking of that um, all right I got to scroll back up so I don't miss anybody else's comments and I can't do it with my left hand apparently and oh no, sorry guys, I'm like, I'm really not touching, <laughs> I'm like touching the screen. Um, yeah, I have a cousin whose wife grew up in West Virginia also. She used to always kind of like do, a, almost like she was flipping us off because they live, <laughs> it was like this, like I think she grew up in this part of West Virginia, she used to always show us. So anyway, they only were like 30 minutes away from Pittsburgh. So she sent me like 14 different texts with all kinds of information and maps and Oh, all kinds of good stuff of like places to go. So that was really cool because we got to, you know, go check out a lot of what she was telling us about. And then if there are any uh, Michigan fans in the house, right? Um, Devin Bush, who was um, a player at University of Michigan, football player, um, he just got drafted to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the crazy thing is that he was actually in town last weekend, right after the draft. And, um, Let's see, we almost ended up at, there. there's a, like a famous, um, what's it called, like a sandwich shop, I think it's called Permanti Brothers, so it's super famous, it's been there for like a hundred or, I don't know, a long, a lot, maybe more than a hundred years. Anyway, so um, there's another one that we went to, the original one in what's called the Strip District. On Friday afternoon, we kind of wandered all around, um, and then we found another one that was closer to the convention center where they were playing basketball, so we ended up there for lunch on Saturday, like late afternoon, but it turns out Devin Bush was actually at the other Permanti Brothers right about the same time. If we had gone, you know, to the original one, we would have run into them. So that would have been like super cool. So anyway, just, I don't know, lots of fun. We, um, I would go back to Pittsburgh again. I'm already like, hey, let's make sure we sign up for that tournament again next year. So sorry, I know I'm like totally blabbering on and on. Um, maybe I should get to like the real stuff now, right? But yeah, you guys, I did. I had a great time. The kids had a great time. And actually, Cade, um, he struggled the first couple games on Saturday, and then you finally, like, something kind of clicked for him on um, Sunday, and that's just really fun to watch, you know, when, like, things 
just kind of start working for him. He was playing more aggressively. Um, he was finally making some shots and he had been struggling for a little bit. So, you know, that's hard to see your, your child not live up to what you know he can do. So Saturday night, he was a total bear, like not happy at all. And then Sunday on the drive home, he was smiling and happy. So I'm hoping, you know, that he can find that place again because uh, we're going to Detroit this weekend uh, for more basketball. So, okay. All right. I think I've got a number of people on on, right so we might as well go ahead and get started um so let's see big well what there's you know there's always stuff going on but i just checked so the retiring list make sure like the last i keep calling them retiring list but the last chance product list if you haven't had a chance to look yet hop on to stampinup.com there's a whole banner right on there that says last chance products just click on that and it's got pictures of everything that is retiring so that's kind of an easy way to just go through and you know, take a look and make sure that you have everything that you want that is retiring. Because you guys know, at the this is where it starts to get really dicey. I just checked the reports um, a little bit ago before I hopped on for the live. And I know like Lemon Lime Twist cardstock that I knew was gonna sell out because that's my absolute favorite color in those in colors that are retiring. So that cardstock has retired out or has um, retired or sold out. That's what I'm trying to say, sold out. And then I think like the variety pack of the 2017-19 in color cardstock has sold out. And then a number of other like the cardstock packs that coordinate with the designer series paper in the annual catalog, those have sold out. You can still get a lot of those, well, probably pretty much all the colors other than Lemon Lime Twist um, in like full packs. So you're, there's still a way to get that stuff. Um, what else? Some of the designer series paper, I think the Frosted Floral designer series paper and the Classic Garage designer series paper from the Occasions catalog has sold out already. So there's not a lot, basically paper, that was kind of mainly, and then some dyes and things, some of them that we already have known about. Um, so most everything is still available. So I say that because I always inevitably, oops, hold on, let's see, I got a text, I gotta swipe that up out of the way. Inevitably, like later on this summer, I always hear like, oh my gosh, I missed out, I didn't order, I didn't know, blah, 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 I was retiring. So. I'm just kind of putting it out there. Make sure you check those, check um, the website. Like I said, it's the easiest way. Order what you need before it gets too late and you can't get it or it gets, you know, before it's sold out, okay? So that's kind of my one big push because um, now that it's May, the things are gonna start, um, you know, showing as uh, sold out. The other thing, those stamp sets, those are definitely guaranteed to be available until May 24. So we still have a couple weeks on those. But again, you know, as long as your budget it allows get in there get those things ordered now um, some of them like in some cases the bundle is retiring so the 10% off deal maybe the stamp set and framelits or dies or whatever are not retiring but the bundle with the two of them combined is retiring so order it now so you can get that deal too so okay um, let me I gotta look at my list as usual <clears throat> oh okay so have you guys been enjoying this is kind of weird so I guess because I don't have any um, of the product myself yet, but the product of the week, the Everything is Rosy product medley. Have you guys been enjoying that? So I guess I say it's kind of weird because this is the first time Stampin' Up! has ever done this where you know, typically as demonstrators, we can pre-order before customers and we can get the product in our hand and start playing with it and make cute projects to show everybody. Hey, Sandy, how are you doing? Um, but this time, this is like the very first time they've ever done it. And I guess maybe because things were selling out so quickly, like as demonstrators, we were scooping everything up. Oh, there's a hummingbird right outside my window. And then, um, so by the time the customer order period came, there was like not that much inventory left, so things left, so things sold out really quickly. So they decided they're not doing it that this way. I'm sorry, blah, 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 blah. I get like all tongue tied because I want to say so much. Um, they decided to release it to everybody all at the same time. So on May 1st, demonstrators, customers, whoever, anybody could order the Everything is Rosy product medley. And I have to tell you, so mine is on order. Um, it should be here next week. And so I'm hoping to have some time to play with it and be able to show you guys cute things. But in the meantime, all week long, I've been sharing any resources that Stampin' Up! gave us. So they made a video to show you because you're kind of like, what is this? Like, I want to see the product because 
they're not even like they don't even have like individuals of the product I posted a picture of kind of all and this one my my color printer died on me so it's in black and white so it's not very great um, but if you can see like this is kind of a picture of all of the product that you get in the product medley um, they also made a bunch of samples too for us to share so that's what i've been sharing all week long are pictures of projects that stampin up um, designers made basically um, to kind of show you everything that's included in there and then there was another um, fellow demonstrator um, I'm drawing a blank well Colleen Magnus that she did um, a presentation at on stage with all of the everything is rosy product medley so she got her hands on it earlier before pretty much anybody else so she made a video that showed you you know she it's like facing down so you don't see her but she shows you like everything that's in this product medley so I hope I put enough resources out there for everybody to kind of get a feel for what this awesome product medley is all about I will tell you in my mind I, we've never had something called a product medley before either we've had suites of products where you know there's a stamp set and dies and paper and ribbon and maybe some other embellishments well this so that's a suite, right? Product medley is like this huge conglomeration of products. So I'm gonna tell you, cause I wanna kinda run through, and next week I'll be able to show you everything. But, so it, it's $80, which I know that's a pretty high price point, but when you guys hear everything that you can get in this product medley, I think you're gonna be blown away by how much you get for that $80 value. And I will tell you, the idea is that you know, of course, all these products coordinate, so you'll get this like huge slew, this huge pile of products, and you'll be able to kind of pick and choose and put things together, and they're all gonna coordinate and work really well together. So it's kind of one of those, the sky is the limit in, um, hey, Kylie, how are you? In the projects that you can come up with because everything coordinates so well together. And I will tell you, I haven't even like Googled, you know, or gotten on Pinterest yet, but I'm sure other people have um, these products already and are posting and sharing but I know there are gonna be a million ideas out there so for those people that maybe struggle with coming up their with their own ideas I know that there are gonna be a ton of ideas you know if you Google or you look on Pinterest you're gonna have your if you don't get this product I'm basically saying you're totally gonna be sad that you didn't because it is beautiful kind of um, pinks like it melon mambo is one of the featured colors hey i am getting like i see all these oh i have to scroll back through because you guys are all everybody's saying good morning denise and you've never i know you're trying not to be too tempted oh marianne let me help you out with that <laughs> that's funny i know the and nikki yes the rose gold okay so primary colors are knight of navy melon mambo hey sherilyn how are you doing and then um the rose gold which we've never had before right that's like a really hot color right now um, and then I guess well there's kind of some more pale pink it's not gonna be powder pink because that's retiring I'm trying to look so I just have to show you guys because I know I've posted on Facebook um, but I did this was before my color printer died so you guys can kind of see some of the products and um, uh, projects that Stampin' Up! designers have made with this product medley um, and then here actually this is one more this is a pretty good one because it shows you okay my favorite is that ribbon I want to try to zoom in can you guys see it's a knight of navy ribbon with a rose gold like stitching accent on it there are some of the dies right there there's the stamp um, oh there's the rose gold shimmer paint and then some of the die cuts and then look at that gorgeous designer series paper with again the rose gold accents and rose gold foil sheets. So let me give you the list. This is everything. I feel like I've shown you guys. Well, here, let me just show you this one too. So these are some more um, of the projects that Stampin' Up! Designers made with our Everything is Rosy product medley. Okay, so here we go. This is, this is like the list of everything that you get in this product medley. And you, so it's only available in May. It's not gonna be in the next annual catalog. It's only available while supplies last, and you can't buy these items individually. You can only get them in this huge product medley. So, okay, this is everything that's included. There is 
and everything is rosy stamp set which i know i shared a picture of that on our facebook group also the everything is rosy dies there are 10 dies in there and of course they're going to coordinate with the stamp set and then probably have some other beautiful accents too there is a pack of six by six designer series paper it's 48 sheets eight sheets of six double-sided designs that's that beautiful they're like pinks and blues and rose golds. It's beautiful. Yes, and they are, you're right, Denise, they are absolutely beautiful. There's also a pack of six by six rose gold foil paper. You get eight sheets of that. And then these are really cool. There is a, um, There are two sheets of printed die cuts. So in some cases you'll see, like this is my impression and I could be, well, maybe some of that is stamping. Here, this is an example I think of the printed die cut. So do you see that right there, the pretty flowers, and it's kind of all on one piece, so you don't see any edges, because that's something basically like they stamped it and then put perforation around it, so all you do is kind of pop those things out, kind of like the things that come in our paper pumpkin kits. So there are those kind of pretty, um, uh, colorful printed die cuts, and then there are also some rose gold die cuts. You get four sheets to each of two different designs, and those are like the labels. I'm trying to see if you can kind of see on this one right here. Do you see those are the rose gold um, printed die cuts? Like I said, they're kind of like labels, so then you can stamp right on them and then just punch them right out so you don't even have to like die cut anything. Um, and then these are cool, the rose gold adhesive backed mirror embellishments. You get 60 of these little embellishments. And the one video that I watched, there's almost like a little cover on them. So they're kind of a little matte looking. So make sure you peel off the little cover on there because then they're like super sparkly and beautiful. But rose gold anything is going to be pretty fabulous. Um, there's also the Melon Mambo one quarter inch ruched ribbon. You get a whole bolt, 10 yards of that. And then, like I said, I think, I mean, I bought this whole product medley because I have to see this ribbon. <laughs> the Knight of Navy and Rose Gold. It's a 3 8 inch metallic edge ribbon. So it's probably like our other, you know, we have a white and a vanilla with metallic edging. This is the same idea, only this is like a beautiful navy blue with those rose gold accents or stitching. And then the last thing is the rose gold shimmer paint. So that you can actually get like a sponge dauber um, get a little bit of ink and put it right on your stamp if you would like and then you can stamp in rose gold ink which would be very cool or you can put it in the little spritzer bottle with some rubbing alcohol and spritz it to kind of make a splatter on your projects so I just can't tell you I, I wish I had this product in my hands um, I yeah I don't yeah I'm gonna have it next week so I'll be able to show you guys and I'm just I don't know if I said this yet or not but I am hoping that it doesn't sell out before then because that would be a huge bummer um, so yeah but I'm gonna get it next week I'm gonna get projects made so I'll show you guys next week but if you you're gonna want this stuff I would get online and order it as soon as you can oh and the other thing too if you order this everything is rosy product medley through me I'm gonna send you three completed projects that you can use kind of as samples or examples to start, you know, get your wheels turning, your, your mind flowing, right, with um, ideas. So that'd be my thank you to you if you order that. Everything is Rosie product medley through me. So let me know if you guys have any questions on that. I think it's it just, you know, it's always fun to play with new product. And this is just a beautiful set of coordinating products. So, okay, enough about that, right? Let me scoot those papers out of the way. Um, let's see what is next. Let's go ahead. We are going to do our drawing for this is the shaded spruce metallic ribbon. So a really beautiful kind of a little bit of a sparkle to our ribbon. So in here you had one entry for every comment that you made on Facebook Live. You have three entries. If you shared the Facebook Live video, just make sure to comment. Make sure you say something about the video when you share it. Um, then my random day that I picked was Friday, and we actually had two Fridays because I haven't been here for a little while, right? So Friday, April 19th, and Friday, April 26th. Any post that I made, if you commented or shared on that post, you got three more entries in here. And then as well, if you posted a picture of a project you made on either of those Fridays, you got three more entries in the drawing. And then lastly, if you are new to me and you sign up to uh, for the email list, you get three entries in the drawing. So as always, lots and lots of names in here. And we're shaking it around. 
And let's see who is going to win. Oh, Miss Lori Cresswell. All right, can we get that? There we go. I see Lori's name right there. So congratulations, Lori. I will have this ribbon. I'll be seeing you this week at the Simple Beautiful Card class. Oh, and I should mention that too, right? So yeah, this on um, Wednesday, what is that? Wednesday, May 8th is the Simple Beautiful Card class. We make four projects, four cards at class. Um, it's anytime from 6 until 8.30 or this next Friday afternoon. So I'll be doing Facebook Live and then running down to the studio. Um, Friday from 1 until 3, that's on May 10th, Friday, May 10th. Um, you can also come and make same cards. Either you come Wednesday or you come Friday. If you come both days, you're going to be making the same cards, um, which sometimes people like to do that because they love the cards so much, right? Or um, if you put in an online order and use the host code that I will give you, it's an email that I send out. If you um, need that, let me know because I don't have that one handy here. It's a different host code than what I do for Facebook Live. But if you put an order in online and use that host code, I'll send you the four projects that we make at the Simple Beautiful Card class next week. So I'd love to have you come hang out with me. We are going to be playing actually with a bunch of product that is retiring. I don't know if I said that or not, but this is the time of year when I like kind of panic because I have all of this product that I haven't used, like product, like designer series paper, ribbon, embellishments, and then my stamp sets. Those are the ones that like really make me panic because I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to either I've used it only once or maybe I haven't even used it at all. So now I'm like scrambling trying to decide which are my favorite that we have to make sure that we use before they retire at this last class. Um, because for me as a demonstrator, once everything retires, I don't really keep it because I can't show you guys because you can't buy it any longer. So it doesn't really do me any good to hold on to it. So it's always this moment of, ah, gotta like use plus like I love all this stuff too so it's all cute and fun and I want to play with it all so we'll be doing that at simple beautiful car class this week coming up next next week coming up right so let me know if you'd like to join us because I'd love I love to have new people too so if you're um, haven't done much stamping and are interested um, there that's like a perfect uh, place for me to show you how to stamp and put your projects together so I'd love to have you join us all right. Um, oh, okay. So this week we are going to be giving away, this is the white flax ribbon. So can you guys see, I don't know if I've shown that very much. This ribbon is actually carrying over. It kind of is like the um, burlap ribbon that we have, only it's a white and a little bit softer. It's not quite as I don't know, I wanna say crusty or crunchy. <laughs> That's really, really coarse. This is not quite as coarse as that. But so here is a project, if you guys can see, this was one of um, my class to go from last month, the piece of cake that used that um, flax ribbon right there. So that's one example. And then I love to pull the ribbon apart. And then can you see, so the twine it almost looks like, but it's like, a, this one is heavier, or more coarse, and I've got it on here too. If you guys can see that one. So again, right there, just pull a couple strands apart. So it's kind of like the white baker's twine, but it's like, like I said, it's got more texture, it's more coarse, so it's kind of got more body to it. So fun things that you can do with the white flax ribbon. Um, and this will be drawing um, next week. Now I will tell you guys, I made one change to the drawing. Um, so I love all of your comments. Um, but in the future, we're just gonna do one entry if you comment. So if you comment once on Facebook Live or you comment 10 times on Facebook Live, it's just gonna be one entry into the drawing. Um, I don't want that to diminish the number of comments that are made because I love like kind of seeing what you guys are saying and thinking in your interaction um, and hearing, you know, hearing from you basically. So don't not comment just because your name's not gonna go in the drawing quite as many times, um, but then you'll still, so also though, just don't forget, I do the random drawing. So like I said, last Friday was picked or the last two Fridays, right? So comment and share all week long because you never know what day I'm gonna pick because your name goes in the drawing three times for comments and shares on my random day that I draw, right? Um, and this applies to, I always forget to say this too, this applies to, so we're right here on the Stamp Studio Facebook group, and then it also applies to the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio business page too. So comments or shares on the, the Friday posts also got your name 
in the drawing last time and will again next week as well, okay? So group or the business page, either one, just comment and share like crazy because one of those days is gonna get picked and your name's gonna go in there and then that'll, that'll give you more chances to win, right? And then also, like I said, if you're new to me and you sign up to the for my email list, then you get three entries in the drawing, so, all right? Um, okay, let's see, what else do we have going on? Checking the list, checking the list. Okay, oh, paper pumpkin. You guys don't forget. So this is a beautiful kit. They just kind of gave us a little um, preview of the, this is May, right? The May paper pumpkin kit was kind of designed, inspired by our former, I don't know what I always what do, what Shelly Gardner. So she was our co-founder and now board chair. I think is her title. I don't know. I forget these things. Um, <clears throat> Uh, oh, Marianne, let's see. Oh, less work for me. I see. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, I love going back through and seeing all the comments too. It's kind of funny how like how what a big kick I get. <laughs> so I still will need to go through everything. I just won't have to write quite as many names down. So I'll make sure to get everybody in at least once in that drawing. So yeah. Um, but okay, yeah, so back to Paper Pumpkin. So make sure if you are interested, I think if you haven't signed up for Paper Pumpkin yet, this is gonna be a great month to do that. They gave us a preview, so Nikki was so nice to share her make and takes from Onstage, which was awesome. Nikki, every year I forget, like I have to go to Onstage in April because you get that annual catalog early. I don't know if, I'm trying to think if I've ever been to an April Onstage. So it's driving me crazy because I can only see the catalog online and kind of pictures um, that Stampin' Up! has shown us. Like I really want that catalog in my hand. So of course I put my pre-order in yesterday as soon as we could. So as soon as I get my order, I'll have my catalog. Um, but what was my point? Oh, well, I guess because I'm, I'm loving that like Nikki, you got the catalog, which was very cool on stage, and then that you were so gracious to share all of your make and takes with us. One of those make and takes featured one of the projects that's gonna be in this May paper pumpkin kit. It's called the Hugs from Shelly paper pumpkin kit. And I think it's just gonna be, Shelly's style is really, kind of soft, feminine, beautiful, a little bit floral, lots of texture and layers and detail. So I'm, I have a feeling that it's gonna be, it'll be that kind of a feel. Plus she loves birds, so I'm pretty sure there's something about birds and nests and things um, in, she kind of gave us a preview. I feel like there was a video that I posted, I'm trying to remember now, you know, it's been what, it was like last week or something, I watched that video, so I can't remember <laughs> a lot of the details. Um, but yeah, I think this would be a great month to try paper pumpkin if you haven't already or if you subscribed a while ago and you're ready to get back into it go ahead and do it now just go to paperpumpkin.com fill out the information it's super quick and easy make sure to pick me as your demonstrator I would really appreciate that um, yeah and then you you just have to do it by May 10th though because if you do it on May 11th you're gonna get the June kit okay because there's like this major cutoff anybody that's signed up by May 10th gets the May kit and everybody after May 10th gets the next month which would be June's kit okay um, oh, and then, okay, so I always have to recognize we have another promotion in our Inkspired Stampers group in our downline. So Naughty Hartman just promoted to Bronze Elite. Uh, she reached $1,800 in sales. That's how you get to Bronze Elite status. And so now she gets 25% discount off of all of her orders or she earns 20%, 25% income on any um, product or orders that she sells. So congratulations, Miss Naughty. She also gets a $50 shopping spree from me that I've already ordered for her and we'll be getting to her um, as soon as it comes in. So congratulations, Naughty. That was very cool. It's awesome because, you know, the, the starter kit is always a great deal no matter what time of year um, you invest in that. And then you get the 20% discount off of everything that you order. Once you get to Bronze Elite, then you get 25% off of everything that you order. So imagine every price in the catalog, I'm only gonna pay 75% of that price. That's a pretty sweet deal, I have to say. So if anybody's interested in the starter kit, just let me know. Um, I love to welcome as many new Inkspired Stampers into our group as um, we can. We have a separate Facebook group where we do more um, sharing sometimes a little bit more business related just to make sure everybody's up on you know what's going on with stampin up but then we do lots of um, creative sharing as well 
We have group meetings here in Alma. We also do Facebook Live if you're not local and you can't come to the group meeting. And then I've just started doing Facebook Live trainings um, on the first Tuesday of every month. So that's where um, I'm in my craft room and we're working on the computer and um, kind of answering different questions and things. So lots of great resources after you buy the starter kit through me and become an inspired stamper too. So, okay. Um, so I'm like debating too now. I just want to kind of put a quick message out there because we have had a couple of really um, sad, sad things happen within our group, um, within our stamping group, our stamping friends and family um, in the last week. So one of our own Inkspired stampers, Nancy Gulick, um, her husband just passed away um, within the last week. Um, and I just wanted to kind of put that out there to let everybody know to keep Nancy and her family in your prayers. Um, that, you know, that obviously that's such a difficult time for them. I was able to um, get over to the funeral home this week for the visitation. So I got to give Nancy a big hug and there were lots and lots of friends and family there supporting her. So um, I just, I didn't post it in, we posted in our downline group, but I hadn't really said anything on this Facebook group. So I just wanted to put that out there in case any of you know Nancy um, and would like to send her a card, you can send me a message um, and I can get you her address or, you know, like I said, just keep her family and Nancy in your prayers. Um, and then another really, really sad thing, and, and again, I kind of hesitated to post it. So this is our good friend, Joyce Swan. Um, she is a friend of mine that I've had for a number of years. She, um, like literally, I have a stamp studio right in downtown Alma, and she just was walking by one day and grabbed the phone number off of the window and gave me a call and has been coming to classes ever since she made that call for years um, when she's in town. She kind of wintered in Florida and then her daughter lived here in Alma and um, I hadn't seen her in a little while because she's only here in the summertime. So last summer was the last time I had seen her and she had been really sick and had learned that she had had cancer and went through the chemo and radiation treatments and all of that. And then even after she went through all of that, they found a number of additional tumors in her lungs and in her brain and I think in her kidney. And it was, I, I just, I was so sad that she had to go through all of that and then find all of those additional tumors after she went through all those treatments. And unfortunately, she actually just passed away yesterday morning as well. I just heard about that. So keep Joyce and her family in your prayers as well. Um, I'm hoping, you know, they say these things happen in threes and two is plenty. So I, I'm, we're good. Um, I think we've had enough kind of sadness around here. So, but again, I just wanted, um, cause I, I want to put a post out there about it too, to let everybody know. But if you know Joyce or her family, just keep them in your prayers as well. So thank you guys. And I, I, I know that kind of brings the mood down a little bit, but, oh, and Cheryl, and you're going through some tough times too. And we've been saying lots of prayers for you as well. So this, this whole getting old and sometimes cancer, just craziness. So yeah, I hope you're doing well, Sherilyn. We're praying for you too. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, let's do, okay, so kind of speaking of all that, it's actually not a drawing because I only had one online order last week, but this is kind of fitting. This is the Ribbon of Courage stamp set. Has all those beautiful sentiments, right? And then the beautiful ribbons there too. Um, Rosemarie Mason was my one online order. She snuck in at the very last minute. So Rosemarie, you are going to win or receive the Ribbon of Courage stamp set for your online order. So thank you for your order, Rosemarie. Um, and I will be getting this to you. Actually, she'll be at um, class this week as well. So thank you guys. Yeah, <laughs> Sherilyn, yes, it does. Cancer does suck. That's the perfect way to put it. There's no other way around it. So, and thank you, Philomena. Um, yeah, it's just, a, oh, it's not, yeah, tough times for them. So, um, but yeah, okay. So, but good news though, Rosemary <laughs> wins this stamp set. So, okay. I'm like trying to like lighten the mood here again. Um, okay. So, cause I'm not, I like it all like weepy about these things and I'm not going to do that on here. Um, 
So next week, I want to tell you guys what we're going to give away um, for your online order. I have, I love these framelits. Oh, I should pull them out. Um, I think I will. It's all in this nice, neat package. Um, it is an awesome set, isn't it, Sherilyn? Yes. And it's retiring. That Ribbon of Courage stamp set is retiring. So if you don't have it yet, I'm actually going to show you guys a project that I made with it in just a couple minutes. Because um, this that was one of those like panic of like, oh, I have not used this stamp set enough yet. Um, and so I was like, okay, yeah, we're going to use it on a project. So I'll show you that in a sec. But in the meantime, so did I even say this? This is what we're giving away. I think I'm like, did I show you guys? So these are the stitched label framelits. And we're going to open this up because I was really, really, really excited that these framelits were not retiring. I'm trying not to like ruin the packaging because I like everybody to get like a really nice package when they win oh and this it's gonna stick okay well i have to show you guys because i'm sure a lot of you know uh, oh well it's just all ripped now okay sorry whoever wins this it's gonna be a little bit ripped there it's just that adhesive this little piece sticks to it so much so it ripped it a little bit but okay so these framelits oh my gosh and i have oh i knew Oh yeah, there are more. I'm like, I know I used a different one. So there's this beautiful, big, detailed one, and then that cute little and even smaller label, and then I, I've used that one, yeah. I was trying to find projects to show you guys, because then look at all these others, right? With that stitching and that other detail, and then a couple of little circles that are stitched, and the heart that is shipped, stitched too. So this awesome set of framelits, you could win in the drawing next week with your online order just spend at least thirty dollars or get the mac daddy everything is rosy product bundle right and your name is going to go in the drawing to win the stitched label framelits here are a couple of examples i love i'm going to miss that paper too that paper is retiring also oh and there's that little stitched heart too if you guys can see that right yeah so it's very tiny but lots of little stitching so that's the one big framelit and i oh apparently i like to use that little heart and that stitching piece together. So I did that on a couple of them. And then this is another um, one of them too that I just adore you right there, that little detail, the stitching. <laughs> so Nikki, I'm back. I didn't know you left. Isn't that funny? That doesn't show me a list. It just shows me like eyeball numbers, but I never know who kind of comes and goes. So I'm glad you're back, Nikki. <laughs> and yes, Susie, you have it on your wish list. Yeah. It's an awesome one. You are gonna want this. And like I said, I'm glad it's not retiring, so now I get to play with it for another year and keep showing you guys cute projects with it. So, okay, the stitched label framelits, yours with an online order of at least $30. Uh, we'll do that drawing next Friday, okay? Um, all right, what else, what else? Oh, I just wanna let a quick <laughs> sneaking you in at work. Oh, that's dangerous, Nikki. <laughs> That's funny. And what Marianne, you're saying, ah, the stitch tart and the frames again and again. Yes, I know. And and there are even other, like as I was showing you guys, I'm like, oh, I haven't used those little stitched label things very much. So we'll be breaking those out. I'm thinking already of like some projects that I kind of have in the works that I could use those on. And speaking of projects in the works, I'm working on my next class to go. So I will have that all finalized and be able to show you guys next Friday. It's not quite ready to go yet, so I can't show you even a sneak peek yet, but I'll show you next week um, what the May class to go is in case anybody's interested in ordering that. So, okay, all right, I think we are ready to flip the camera down. So, yeah, okay. Turn your heads away for that quick sec, and I'm gonna flip the camera for us, okay? We're going for a ride, sorry ladies. Let me get you all set up. Okay, flipping it down, all right. So while I grab what I wanna show you guys next, this is our host code for May. It's um, UMM7H63Q. That's the host code that you're gonna to wanna to use if you put at least your $30 order in by next Wednesday. You're gonna get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate next, and your name goes in the drawing to win the stitched label framelits. And then as always, if you bump your order up to $50, you always get your name in the drawing, you get the projects, and you get a free embellishment too. So lots of good stuff. Um, 
Oh, I wanted to show you guys, before we get to the stamping, um, we had scrapbook class. Was it this week? Oh my gosh, isn't that crazy how like the days go by so quickly? So I'm trying to get these both in the view. So this is one of the layouts. So when we have scrapbook class, thank you for the share, Philomena. We do um, a two-page layout like this, and then we do a single page that'll coordinate with next month's or last month's single page. So in this case, we had made this page last month in March. So we made the second half. So we made this page in April. And then we also made, where's my other, the coordinating two page. So you end up with three pages each month, if that makes sense. And then we made this two page spread this month as well. That's funny, those that still have them in the sleeves. So they're kind of creating a little bit of a glare. But this features the um, Happiness Blooms. This is another one of those panicky, like I love this stuff. It's funny, you know how when the catalog comes out and it's almost like I have to kind of savor, like wait to use some of these things. And then I'm not gonna do that anymore because then all of a sudden, like I loved this paper and kind of the whole suite and now it's like retiring and I felt like I didn't get to play with it enough. So I'm not doing that anymore. I'm whatever I love, I'm gonna use it like crazy. <laughs> so I feel like I got to use it enough. Um, yeah, so hopefully that, that is all right with everybody else too and that you guys love what I'm loving. So yeah, this is the two page spread, um, Happiness Blooms. And I wanted to tell you guys too, so these, I have pictures every single month I upload and I'm a little bit behind, I think I still have to do um, April's projects. But on this Facebook group, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group, if you click on, so it's kind of on the left hand side, it'll say photos. And then maybe across the top, I think one of them says albums, once you click on photos, and you'll see albums of all different kinds, of, you know, all different albums, right? One of the albums is scrapbook pages. So every month, like I said, I kind of keep uploading pictures of cards that we've made, treats that I've made, um, and then scrapbook pages as well. So check those albums out. It's a great resource. Like if you're, I go back to it a lot too, like for my scrapbook pages, I'll kind of use like a similar theme or layout, you know, with new product um, for that month's pages. But it's a great resource for me, um, especially, well, card layouts and scrapbook page layouts. So check those out if you haven't done that. That's a great resource for you all. And I kind of always forget to mention it. It's a little bit buried in there too. So I think it's not super easy to find. So I want you guys to know that that's there for you. Okay. All right. All of that chatter is now leading to being able to do some stamping. Okay, let's get, hold on, I gotta move this. Oh, I see what's going on, sorry. I if I can do that. <laughs> All right, I'm being too futzy with things, but okay, so everybody can see the host code. I've got my little mat here. All right, um, okay, I need a quick sip of water. All right, let's get these guys out. I know I need this pad to do my stamping on. Okay, so here is our first project. I have these fun little um, bins now, so I'm trying to be all like cute and coordinated and showing you the all, every, all the product that we're gonna use on this card. So this is one of the cards that I'm gonna demonstrate today. And I, I decided that Highland Heather is one of my favorite colors. I really never ever thought that I was a purple person, but I keep going back to this color, so I obviously must love it a lot. This one has that awesome ribbon with the framelits. Now the interesting thing is the stamp set, the Ribbon of Courage stamp set is retiring, but the framelits are not. And I have not had a chance to like fully peruse the annual catalog, but I'm assuming there's gotta be another stamp set with these ribbons in there that then is gonna, is gonna coordinate with the framelits that they're keeping. These are some of the colored doilies. Now these are retiring. Do I have those right here? I do, I'm gonna show you guys these. So I'm just trying to highlight and make sure everybody knows because it's hard. There's a huge amount of things that are retiring. So these colored doilies, I love these doilies, right? So we've got um, Coastal Cabana, Flirty Flamingo, Grapefruit Grove, and Old Olive. So they're beautiful doilies. And if you need a white one, and actually it's white, but it's almost got 
kind of like a wood green feel behind it too. So you can use them either way, white or color, right? So make sure you get those doilies if you don't have them yet because they are retiring. Um, let's see, I'm gonna keep one of those out so I have it right there. Oh, oh, Sherilyn, that is awesome. Purple is the ribbon color for pancreatic cancer. Uh, you have lots of purple stuff now, yes. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Well, this, Sherilyn, this card is for you, right? With faith, all things are possible. Awesome sentiment too. I love the sentiments, honestly in this stamp set. I'll show you guys those one more time. I know I showed you when we were um, talking about it retiring and I've already gone through and started pricing <laughs> my retiring products. So this stamp set is $19. So there's that sentiment with faith, all things are possible. There's another that says live every moment, laugh every day, love with all your heart, courage, and sending love and hugs to you. And then, so the cool thing is, so this is great, you know, for lots of, um, you know, for people that are going through cancer and that sort of thing, but it's also got some fun, like I love this heart with, I call it kind of a paisley, I don't know if it really is, but I love kind of all the detail, and then I actually use that little baby flower on um, the envelope, I have to show you that one. So these are fun, and then that little heart there too, we use that one on the stamp or on, on the card. So here, here are those little baby hearts, or flowers, I should say, right, on that envelope. Um, and so I'm just realizing, like, this stamp set is super versatile. It's obviously got great sentiments, great if you need those ribbon images, but then those other fun images, too, that you can use on anything, right? So great, versatile stamp set. Oh, here is the um, stitched, this is Whisper White with silver. Can you see? So that's the stitched, um, what are we calling that? The... Um, where is it? The metallic edge ribbon. Yep. So this is the Whisper White metallic edge ribbon. This is kind of so that um, everything is rosy product medley. This is kind of what it's going to be like. Only the white is going to be navy and that silver stitch edge is going to be rose gold. I'm telling you what, you guys are going to, like I said, I'm getting that whole product medley because I have to get my hands on that ribbon. <laughs> And you, most people who know me know I love ribbon. Like I want to put ribbon on every single project that we make. So, okay, we're using some pearls. Those are not retiring. I honestly cannot remember. if I feel like that ribbon is sticking around, but it could be retiring. I'm not sure on that one. Oh, I've already got my, so my one and three quarter inch circle punch that I never updated and got the new version is finally retiring. And then these are the support ribbon framelits. So let's see, we'll pull out what we need. We use, we're gonna use that ribbon framelit. There's a fun flower though too, see? So this is what I'm talking about, and a leaf, and then the little ribbon, and a big heart, and we're actually using that little heart also. So a great set of framelits that are gonna be, you know, they're for more than just um, kind of ribbon and cancer cards, I guess I would say, which at first, you know, when I looked at it, that's all I thought of. So now that I've played with it some more, I can see there are lots of other uses. Not that that's not a great use, but I, I just want you guys to know how versatile it is. So, okay, so I obviously need my clear block that I think I'm using on the other card that we are going to <laughs> be making. And then I've got my ink pad. So, okay, let me get these stamps out. And what do I wanna do? Well, I better find that clear block because I think that's about the first thing that we're gonna do. I'm gonna put my paper right on this pad because so the solid image stamps especially, I wanna make sure that that stamps really well. And if I stamp on this surface, that's gonna help me do that. So let me grab, grab this piece of paper and I gotta find that big clear block. So I've already got another stamp on it that we're gonna use next on our next project. I only have one of these clear blocks because I almost never use it. So of course, today I need two of them, one for each card that we're making. This is clear block E. It's a big one. I don't use this size very often. So, okay. Highland Heather ink is what we're going to use. And yes, Marianne, the loving the flower and the leaf. I agree. Like I said, I think it's just very, very versatile. Okay, so sorry, that is probably totally wiggling. I'm going to try to hold the camera. We'll see if I can do this, right? It's funny how though I see it wiggling and then when I watch the replay, it's not quite as bad. Okay, I think that looks good. And so we're gonna press. And I like to kind of press right down with my fingers to make sure I get all that ink off. 
Hey, hey. And last time I actually pressed so hard I got a bunch of ink right in the middle that went right there and an outline. But once you die cut it, you don't even know that that's there. So that's one time when it's really not a big deal. Okay, so we're gonna scoot this out of the way. I do want to clean with my chamois that looks horribly dirty, but I actually just rinsed it off yesterday. It just um, kind of retains the color, I guess, is what happens. So we're gonna kind of clean that all right off. Okay, because I want to get rid of this stamp. I'm going to need to be able to see what I'm doing with this other stamp when we get to that card. Okay, so scooting this guy out of the way. Can you tell I'm not in any hurry today? I feel like the last time I did Facebook Live, I was so needing to um, start uh, or get set up for um, the one day retreat, which, oh, that went really well too, you guys. Um, I will tell you while I'm getting the big shot set up here um, that the next one day retreat is on Saturday, October 5th, and I've already heard conflicts. I tell you what, I can never pick the right date. It's very hard to get a date that works for everybody, but if you're in the area and would like to come, Saturday, October 5th is the next one day retreat here in Alma. And then, as well, we are having the weekend retreat down in Lansing in Michigan on November 1st through the 3rd. So, mark your calendars. I thought I was, I was getting like super early, um, you know, so I could get on your calendar before other people did. Doesn't always work that way, but I'd love to have you guys join us at either of those. The one day retreat on October 5th or the weekend retreat on November 1st through 3rd. And I'll be posting more info as well on both of those retreats coming up this fall. And let's see, <laughs> I, I do seem to be a lot more relaxed. Yeah, and you know what? I think taking a little time off helps too. Um, just getting away and re all, I guess I need a refresh like <laughs> about once a month. I think I need to get away and have a refresh, Marianne. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there. So, oh, did I tell you we used silver glimmer paper? to cut out that teeny tiny little silver heart. So we're gonna get that right there. Don't wanna lose anything. And then our ribbon. Isn't that awesome? I love, 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 love that too. All right, so I'm gonna scoot that. All right, I think we're done with the big shot. I'll probably look and realize I need it for something else. Um, okay. I think we can do our stamping now. So let me show you guys. This is our Highland Heather card base. Let's get that one up out of the way, right? So let me get that lined up. Can you guys see? Yep, I can see the corner there. Okay, so our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, we cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half, and along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So that's our card. Oh, and then actually I'll show you because I couldn't stop using these stamps. I wanted to use them everywhere. So I stamped that fun heart. Can you guys, it's even better in color too. So it's like a heart with like flowers and, and paisleys inside. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that's on the inside. And then what else? Oh, so this is our whisper white piece that goes on the inside. This whisper white measures four by five and a quarter inches. And then our strip of designer series paper the Highland Heather part of the Settles, which all of this designer series paper is retiring too. And I have so much of it. This is one that like, usually that lasts for a little while longer. So I'm super bummed. This is definitely one of those, oh my gosh, I did not play with that paper nearly as much as I should have. So I'm learning my lesson, ladies. So this DSP Highland Heather Settles, two inches by four and a half inches is that piece right there, okay? Um, so I think we can do our stamping. Let's grab our ink pad again, our Highland Heather ink pad. And we are gonna stamp, let's see, we're gonna get our heart. I'm gonna have one right there and one right there and maybe one right there. And I think that's all I did. So can you guys see, I have to show you. Look at those, aren't those hearts so cute? Love them. Okay, and then on our Whisper White piece that, oh my gosh, that was lucky that I didn't 
get ink on that whisper white pieces I put it underneath my ink pad okay so here's our heart we're gonna stamp that in the corner I have to show you that again Lori hello how are you doing oh my gosh I hope everything is good with you do you love that heart so cute I love it okay and then we are gonna stamp our sentiment and I think, did I switch it? I think I did. So I love, I was like, I have to show you guys a couple of the different sentiments. And the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys about was I love to do this sometimes. So this is Bermuda Bay ink and this is Coastal Cabana cardstock. So at first I stamped my sentiment right here in Coastal Cabana ink on Coastal Cabana cardstock and it wasn't dark enough. I didn't, it didn't show up well enough. So then I realized, oh, go to like kind of the next step up in terms of darkness or hue, which is Bermuda Bay. So I'm going to use Bermuda Bay ink on Coastal Cabana cardstock. But do you see how perfect it works with this? It jumps off the cardstock a little bit better than, than the lighter Coastal Cabana would. Um, so yeah, that's my little trick, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That's a good tip. I should remember that. You know, so sometimes if you're using like a lighter pink, maybe you want to use a little bit darker pink ink to make sure it really jumps off the page for you. And I did switch. I, I thought I did because I wanted to show you guys. So here's the with faith things all things are with faith all things are possible with those little curly cues super cute right and then here's the other one sending love and hugs to you again with those little curly cues super duper cute we are just going to punch this out with our one and three quarter inch circle punch just gonna pop that baby right there and okay i think we did all of our stamping i'm trying to get <laughs> Man, I'm like kind of moving at a slower pace. That's, I'm just relaxed, I'm moving at a slower pace. Probably because I have to get a lot done during the week since I can't work quite as much on the weekends with being gone for basketball all the time. So kind of staying up later and like exhausting myself even more. But I have also decided that I don't want to not miss I don't want to miss out on anything I don't want to regret that I didn't go to basketball games or watch Lily's dance or spend time with my friends or whatever it is I don't want to regret that I worked all the time so right now I'm in that mode of trying to do everything and then you kind of get to a point where you're ready to just pass out <laughs> which might be tonight <laughs> okay so we're going to put our designer series paper right there just kind of put that right in the middle then we need let me grab my little mat here i want to and this is another one of those great tricks my silicone craft sheet i'm going to use so i don't get adhesive all over um, my work paper right so i'm just going to put some adhesive and you can see i mean there's a bunch of adhesive that normally would be all stuck all over this paper but because i use that silicone craft sheet it doesn't make this sticky. It actually kind of leaves some sticky on there, which is fine because I'm going to add this piece with my dimensional. And I just saw a comment roll by. <laughs> Thank you, Marianne. I know that's what I'm realizing, right? Like another school year is almost all done. Lily was, she just started her freshman year and now she's almost going to be a sophomore. And Kate will almost be a junior. And then, oh my gosh, only two more years for Kate and three for Lily. So yeah, they do go very, very quickly. Okay, so I am gonna put this with my dimensionals. I'm gonna make sure it's lined up straight. There we go. Okay, so we're putting that on there. Then I wanna add a couple more dimensionals behind my ribbon that I've already cut. Sometimes these dimensionals are funny. Okay. That one, and then where did I figure out? I want it over here on this side. What I'm not doing is putting a dimensional over here because I'm gonna kind of lay that on there and I don't want it to pop up even higher on that side. Something about that bugs me when that happens. I like to have it all kind of the same height because you know, some dimension is good, but if it's like, like a bobblehead, if it pops up too far, I don't like that. <laughs> that might be a personal problem. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna put that little baby maybe right about there, right? So I had my adhesive there and my dimensional there. Now, okay, I'm gonna grab my little heart again and I'm gonna put it back on my craft sheet, silicone craft sheet, because that's so small, I don't wanna get adhesive. 
on my little work paper again. We're gonna put our heart right there. And then, oh my gosh, I forgot. So I think I can probably pull it up. But we're gonna use just a little strip. I'm gonna cut this one at an angle. And let's see, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to, we'll see if I can get this underneath there. Just that little strip is all I want. It just kind of added a nice little bit of silver goodness. Let me get that pulled back up. Am I doing it? I'm probably like ripping the paper. Ah, maybe we're okay. All right, so now the trick is to just add a little bit of adhesive and then we're gonna lay, I never, ever, ever do this where I um, put um, adhesive on my ribbon, but when you just do a little strip like this, this is kind of the only way you can get it to stay on there. So there, just that little bit of ribbon kind of peeking out, that little silver sparkle. And then one last step, we need some pearls. Oh, I forgot my take your pick tool. So I'm gonna use this little, my paper snips instead. And we are just gonna kind of sprinkle some pearls. Okay, this is when I need, there. It's almost better when it flips over. Then I can get to the glue dot, right? Okay, so there. One more, yeah. This is not, don't you, don't, you don't have to fuss around. <laughs> like that's how it's supposed to work. Just grab one. I'm not getting underneath there very well. There we go, and then maybe one more right there. All right, and there is our first project, right? Sending love and hugs to you. Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love that card. And oh, you know what else I did was I kind of curled these up. I kind of liked having that pop up a little bit. There, so now, how about that? So you've got sending love and hugs to you, and with faith, all things are possible. So. Fun, fun cards right there. So if you put an online order in of at least $30, you're gonna get one of these cards and then the other card that I'm gonna show you next. All right, so let me just do my moment of organizing here. Let's get the stamps out of the way. Okay, get the stamps out. I know I'm gonna need this stuff, right? These, okay. I think that's good, right? And did I tell you I have little notes to like, tell you guys everything. Oh, I should tell you, that was kind of a case right out of our annual catalog. That was one thing I did recently was I like flipped through the catalog and um, was, you know, okay, again, that moment of panic where oh, I haven't used that stamp set. Oh, I love that project. I want to make that, that sort of thing. So that was one of them. And I was like, oh, I really loved kind of the layout. I changed the colors. Um, but I loved what they did with that card. So I was happy to be able to make that and share it with you guys. Okay, so the next one, because this is another, hold on one sec, I gotta get my water. Another one of those moments of, oh my gosh, and I know this was our product of the week a couple of weeks ago. This is Sunny Day stamp set. And this is definitely one that I bought not that long ago because I fell in love with it and then I really didn't get to play with it. So I am making the most of it. Um, I know I shared a bunch of projects that other people had made and then I actually, the card I'm gonna show you guys today is um, cased from Stamp with Amy K. Amy Coenders made a super cute project. I changed the colors a little bit, um, but I just loved. So I think what it is, it's like the fun, like whimsical kind of font that they used and then um the way they drew all of the images too i just think are so cute so i and the lemonade stand there's just something about that that i think is really really cute and i know i had mentioned i think this is great for well you know when people are going through a hard time you can do hard things right and then graduation make your dreams happen and wishing you success and only the best and then if they need kind of a pick me up wishing you sunny days ahead and then with all those fun kind of summer images. And this one is retiring, it's $21 for the clear mount stamp set. So let's go ahead and get started on this card too. Okay, what else? Oh, oh, all right, so we're gonna do some coloring. I'm gonna have to get my glasses out so I can show you guys um, what's going on. Oh, my little scribble notes, you guys can't see that. Hold on, I gotta try to get that out of there without you seeing. Ha, huh, I think I did it. Um, this is some of the Brights Designer Series paper in um, this one is Daffodil Delight and Pacific Point, right? And then we've got some more Pacific Point and Whisper White Paper. I'll give you these measurements in just a sec. 
We have our card base, we have some rhinestones. Oh, and this swirly frame stamp set, another one that I bought and hadn't really used. It's not retiring though, so we're gonna be able to use this some more. So we use this um, big, and that's why I had to use that stamp or that, um, that clear block again, because I needed that two times. Okay, so let's get these stamps out. And then, oh, I think I mentioned too, this designer series paper, this is, and this is kind of a, <laughs> You know, I keep all my little pieces, but this shows you um, the different uh, patterns. This is the Brights Designer Series paper. So we've got little polka dots and big polka dots, right? So little and big, and then stripes. I guess I don't show you the other stripes, but then they've got stripes or they've got some other with kind of blue and white or whatever color and white stripes. So actually it's kind of peeking out right there. I see it a little bit. Anyway, this paper, all of these, so brights, regals, subtles, neutrals, and both of the in color six by six designer series paper packs. These are retiring and I love this paper. So make sure you get this while you can. Okay, and we are using some of the ribbon. This is the Daffodil Delight stitched ribbon. So it's got those cute little X's stitched on one side and then the kind of dashes, I guess I would say. We're gonna use the dashy side today. On our card. I don't think I've even showed you the card yet, have I? And we're going to do just a little bit of coloring. This actually looks like a lot. It's not that much though. We have Calypso Coral. We have the Color Lifter. We have the Bronze. We have uh, Daffodil Delight in Light. And I think this was Old Olive. Nope, Granny Apple Green Light. And then our Crumb Cake. So those are the inks well, the blends that we're gonna use. We're not doing any die cutting though. And then our inks are Pacific Point, Calypso Coral, and our Black Memento. Okay, so let's get started. Actually, before I forget and like get on to what I'm doing, I'm gonna give you dimensions. Well, you guys wanna see the card? <laughs> I think I pulled it out and didn't even show you guys. Okay, because I was too excited to show you the stamp set. So this is the card that we're gonna make. You can see that ribbon has the little dashes on either side there, and then wishing you sunny days ahead, and then with the fun Brights Designer Series paper, and then our stamping and our coloring. So dimensions, you guys all know this, right? I tell you guys about this all the time, right? This is the eight and a half by 11 cardstock, cut it in half at five and a half, score it in half at four and a quarter, right? That one's pretty quick and easy if you've been making cards for a while. If not, um, that's good to know. Okay, Whisper White piece measures three inches by four and a half inches. That's what we're gonna do our stamping on. Then our layer of uh, Pacific Point cardstock behind it measures three and one eighth by four and five eighths. And then our little strips of designer series paper. This is Pacific Point, measures one inch by five and a half. And then the Daffodil Delight polka dot -y piece that measures three and one quarter by five and a half, okay? So let's do, because it's mainly kind of the stamping and coloring. So let's do that. Um, I'm checking my notes too. So yeah, the stamp set is retiring, that sunny day stamp set, wherever I put that off to, right? The designer series paper and the ribbon are all what are retiring. So lots of goodness that's going away. So get it while you can. Okay, with our Pacific Point ink, we are going to ink up our frame first. I thought this is so cute. I cannot wait to use more of these frames. I didn't really show you. I'll show you these in just a sec. Let's get this inked up really well. And this was kind of a test for me. Um, thankfully, it's not meant to be perfect because I'm like, am I left? Am I right? Am I up or down? We're just going for it. And we have another side if I really do a poor job. I'm just gonna press firmly all the way around. All right, I think that's good, right? It's not quite even side to side, but that's okay. But that's what I was saying too, is, is it's not perfect, like the square itself isn't. Um, and so it's okay if things are maybe a little bit off. But that swirly frame stamp set, it kind of doesn't look like much, but it's a great little accent, even these little pieces, to kind of, you know, uh, put a frame around whatever you're making there, right? Okay, now, we want our lemonade stand. I love this thing. Okay, so we've got our black memento ink. So you guys know this, right? When you color with your blends, you need to stamp your image in black memento ink so the ink doesn't smear. 
Okay, so there's our little guy there. And then actually, mm, let's do that in a sec. We're gonna do, we're gonna use our Calypso Coral ink for our sentiment that says, wishing you sunny days ahead. And I'm gonna do this one first, and then I'm gonna use my sun, because I wanna make sure I had enough room <laughs> for my sentiment first. And then again, the sun is gonna be in our black memento ink. Okay, so we are done with our stamping. Now, for our coloring, all right, what are we gonna do first? Let's use, so I started with, uh, this is Calypso Coral, the light marker. And what I realized was when I did this, I didn't think it was quite dark enough, so I'm just gonna kinda I'm not even worrying about getting too close to the edges. So you see that is, can you see that? Oh, I need to move that up there. It's real. it's too light, isn't it? So that's supposed to kind of be the same color. So then I went back over. I was like, okay, I think we need the darker. And then this almost went maybe a little bit too dark, I was feeling. So I'll tell you what I did after I finished coloring. So again, this is my dark Calypso Coral. And do you guys feel the relaxation in the room as you are coloring with your pretty blends markers, right? We're all, ah, and I'm putting everybody to sleep probably. Now, what I decided was we've had this lemonade stand for a while, so I wanted it to look a little bit weathered so I kind of took some of that color away as if it had been faded by the sun. Our little banner on our lemonade stand has been faded by the sun. So I'm just kind of swirling with my color lifter. And you know what's kind of interesting? It really doesn't even, I don't know where the color goes. Maybe it kind of bleaches it. Maybe it doesn't really lift it, but it, it goes away. So I just kind of, almost like the sun went through the center of those and faded them out a little bit. And then same idea with our stand itself. So I colored the stand, the lemonade stand, and again, I am not worrying about making it absolutely perfect because this has been weathered by time as well. So I'm using the light crumb cake along here and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add, so can you guys see it's really, really light right now, it's too light, it's been, that's way too exposed, right? So then I just kinda added a little bit of the darker and I'm gonna go back over and kinda blend it in again with my lighter. So do you see how I just kinda added a little bit of like dashiness almost? And then I'm just gonna smooth these things out. So I'm trying to be careful to keep, like these are slats, so I want a little bit of white between each of those. So that's the idea there, and that'll kind of continue to kind of fade into itself. And if it looks too splotchy, I can always go back and color that a little bit more. Now we are gonna color our lemonade, right, with our Light Daffodil Delight. This is gonna be some yummy lemonade in our little cup right here. And then we're also going to color our sun with our Daffodil Delight. So for those of you that don't like coloring, I think it's because you don't feel like you have enough time to do it. Because I always thought, oh, I don't know if I really like coloring either, but now that I've been doing more and more of it, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really kind of loving it. So this is, what did I want to do? I think I want to use my light Calypso Coral for my flower. Yeah, because that'll be just a hint lighter than what we got going on there. And then teeny, teeny, tiny leaves, we are going to use kind of the bullet point. I'm just kind of, you can barely even see that, but I used that light um, old olive. And then the last one, this is kind of fun. I liked this idea using the bronze. Which one do I want to use? I'm going to use that fat tip. We're going to use, we're going to make our pot bronzy. If only it were sparkly. Probably if we added some little, oh, I should have done like Wink of Stella 
over it. That'd be kind of fun, like we have a sparkly bronze pot. And let's see, I think I want to go over, this looks too splotchy for me still. I'm going to kind of color that in just a little bit more. There. Okay, that kind of fades those lines out a little bit. All right. And that is it. So you can see that really didn't take me very much time at all. And look at how stinking cute that is, right? So now we just have to put things together. I'm going to scoot those guys out of the way. Okay, so we're going to put some adhesive on the back of this guy. Okay. And we're going to add the white piece to just kind of peeking out there. I love just that little 1 8 edge border. And then we're going to add our designer series paper. Oh, there's the other stripey side. So polka dots and then stripes. That was the one that I wasn't able to show you before. So we're going to add adhesive and we're going to put it on our, this is, um, oh, my mind, isn't that awful? Daffodil Delight. I know that name too. Just having a moment. And I love covering up this whole um, piece of the card front too. I don't do that very often. So with our stripes here, I put our adhesive, oops, and then I got a little bit of adhesive. Oh well, that's all right. And we're going to put this down at the bottom. And then this is a fun little trick here. So this ribbon goes all the way around the inside and actually you can see the dashes a little bit better right there. I like that side of it too. I always think to use um, kind of the X side. Can you see if I get really close, the X's, but I like the dashes also. Oh, my other point was, this is how we're gonna do this. We're gonna put some adhesive there and there. So we are going to, actually I think it might work better if I start with this end. Okay, so we're gonna run that around there and then all around the back. So you don't even have to go all the way to the other side we're gonna pull that over there I'm gonna grab some scissors so it doesn't matter if there's a little gap is what I was kind of trying to say here right because you're gonna cover it up I do want to press very firmly though to make sure that ribbon stays where I put it okay and then we just need some dimensionals back behind our cute little lemonade stand and the wishing you sunny days ahead okay so i'm just going to put those dimensionals i always like to kind of press them down because it makes it easier to pull the backings off instead of pulling the whole dimensional off and i am flicking those backings like every which way <laughs> okay one more there we go okay 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 <laughs> i'm on that again okay Put that piece right on there. And then we need one little sparkle, one little rhinestone next to kind of our sun and our sentiment. And that is it. So how about that? Wishing you sunny days ahead, which as I'm saying that, okay, we've had like days and days and days of drear. I think last Saturday in Pittsburgh, the sun came out and I don't know if we've, maybe it was Sunday. I don't know, very little sun this week. So we are hoping for some sunny days ahead around here in, in Michigan too. So, all right, thank you guys so much. It was so good to be back today. Um, like I said, I think getting that little break just helps you be refreshed and renewed and ready to go. Ah, so, okay, as always, don't forget, make sure you order, where is that? The Everything is rosy product bundle. Here, I've got my little sheets right here. Maybe you can see a little bit better. Everything is rosy. No, the, not the product bundle, the product medley, the medley, the whole slew of products, right? Make sure you order these. It's only $80. You get so much product. I'm sure something is in there for free. I can't even tell you what because they don't give us costs on everything individually because you can't buy it individually. But order that. When you do, use the host code, the UMM7H. 63Q, you're going to get the free embellishment because your order will be over $50. You're going to get these two projects that we made today. And your name goes in the drawing to win the awesome stitched label framelits. If you don't have these yet, you need to get these or win them from me, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. I am, like I said, just so glad to be back. Had an awesome time with you guys today. I hope everybody has a fabulous weekend. 
and that the sun peeks out for you wherever you are. And we will see you next Friday. Bye, everybody.